found the body of 23-year-old Brooke Nicole Morris at the intersection of Blair Road and Old Blair Road. The Sheriff's Office is investigating her death as a homicide. Six News reporter Mona Nyer has more now on the case in tonight's top story. Those who knew Brooke Morris describe her as soft-spoken and very pretty. I was just shocked. I just couldn't believe that somebody would do this to such a pretty girl and her being young and she was just 23. And I just can't believe that somebody would do that. Carol Meredith was Brooke's landlady and a friend of the family. She says the young mom lived alone and had moved into this apartment complex about nine months ago, right after getting divorced. Her little boy lived up the street. And she wanted to live there close because of her son living up the street. Then on Saturday night, near these railroad tracks in Roan County, someone driving by called about seeing a body. Investigators say Morris's body was found here, right by the main road, and not far from those railroad tracks on the other side. They say Morris is from Knoxville, so right now investigators are chasing down leads to figure out how she ended up here in Roan County. Still looking into um, who she runs around with, who she's been with and things like that, just trying to shed a little light on what happened. While autopsy results are pending, Detective Tim Phillips with the Sheriff's Office believes that Morris died from a gunshot. By what we know, we, we think that um, she was killed here, and um, we're still looking into that and trying to back up our theory and, and, and everything. And once we get a little further along, we'll be able to tell more about how things transpired. Knowing what she does, Meredith says it's unusual that Brooke Morris would have gone so far away if she actually did. She came home just about every day and, you know, she worked and I don't think she went far. Detectives do have some suspects they're looking at. I hope they find the person that did it because, um, you know, this is a tragedy to her son and tragedy to her family. And I know they miss her something terrible. So far, no arrests have been made, and an investigation into what happened here continues. In Roan County, Mona Nyer, 6 News. If you have any information on what happened to Brooke Morris, contact the Roan County Sheriff's Office, 865-717-4217. Tonight, the